Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Deb if you don't follow me on Instagram. Um, so I thought for my first YouTube video, I'll kind of show you what's new in my wardrobe so you can kind of get to know my style and see what I like. And yeah, hopefully you choose to follow me along on this little YouTube journey. I swear I'll be less awkward in the future, but I am a very awkward person. <laughs> so. Before I ramble on, let me just show you what's new in. I also have a bag to unbox with you, which I think is super exciting. I cannot wait to show you because I don't think I've shown it on Instagram or anything. Before I ramble on, because I tend to ramble, the first item I got a while ago is this beautiful khaki one shoulder knitted Jacquemus top. Um, I got it in a size 36, I believe, and I'm generally a UK slash Australian size 8. Um, it's such a gorgeous material. You don't have to wear a bra with it. It's not see-through at all. The back is so stunning. It's backless. It's quite nice because you get extra material on the side, so you don't get any side boob if you don't want to show that part of your body, um, which I particularly don't. I've worn it so much. Even when it was getting a bit colder, I would just layer it with a cardigan or blazer when I'd go on a night out or out for dinners. Um, and given I was wearing it so much, typical div had to go and get it in another color but i thought you cannot go wrong with having it in black i mean i've worn it so much i just like am in love with this shape i think it's so flattering i just love 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 these tops like honestly i don't remember them being extortionately expensive but regardless i just think in terms of like how much wear you get out of them you definitely get your cost per wear as people like to justify when they are buying things. So the last thing I got from Jackmas, again another absolute wardrobe staple, I picked up the Jackmas bralette. Um, I have their older version in the green and yellow but I'm not a massive fan of that shape because it doesn't have much coverage in the front and I find that I just can't really wear it without taping myself in which kind of defeats the purpose of a bralette I feel. Whereas this one, super comfortable wearing it by itself. I don't need to take myself in. I don't feel like I'm going to fall out. Um, and I have mine in a size small, which fits me perfectly. Now, moving on to more colourful items. That was a joke, by the way, if you don't know me. <laughs> so, the next piece is this beautiful Cult Gaia top. Um, I got this from Revolve. I just saw it online and it just looks so... I don't know, a bit of me. It's kind of like your basic black top, but with a bit of interest. I love the cutout details. I think cutouts are coming back um, this season or this time of year. They're so cool. I just love the amount of skin they show. It's a bit different. So for the last piece of clothing, I bought this a while ago and I wore it. You would have seen it on Instagram. I kind of wore it on my birthday. So the last clothing item is this beautiful Prada play suit. I love this so much. The Prada Nylon is just one of my favorite um, ranges from the brand. I just think, you know, it's sustainable. It kind of, it just lasts for such a long time. I have like a really old Prada Nylon handbag that just looks brand new still because the material doesn't really, I don't know, you can't go wrong with it. Um, and it's low maintenance in terms of like keeping it clean and things because anything that kind of gets on it, you can just wipe it off because it's literally waterproof. Which is again perfect for places like England and Australia where, or well, Melbourne specifically, where it rains a lot. Like, I just love it. The back is low and it can go straight because these bits are detachable as you can see. I just wear mine crisscross because that's how it came and I like it. And obviously the back is adjustable. I really like this piece because there's so many ways to start, style it. You can wear it with tights, without tights, with boots, heels, nothing underneath, bando underneath, different colored tops underneath. You can make it casual, you can definitely make it dressy. Um, on my Instagram, I paired, oh, can I speak? On my Instagram, I paired it with all the other Prada things I had, like my Prada loafers, my Prada tote bag, I think it would look so cute with like a Prada hat or like the headband, but I think that's a bit too preppy for my style. But again, that would just look so nice. So that is all for the clothing items that I got. I'm gonna move on to some accessories I bought. 
I bought some of these things before I went away to Ibiza, hence they might seem a bit summery, but also I had in mind that I was obviously moving home to Australia and we're going to summer, so I knew I was gonna wear them loads. So the first piece of accessory I bought is this Loewe hat. I love bucket hats in the summer. Like, I feel like it just adds something to the outfit. It's something of interest and yeah, I've been loving wearing hats um, in England last summer. So I know I'll just kind of do that here again this summer. This one is from Lower Bay. There we go. So sticking with that theme, I picked up another hat because I saw someone wearing it on Instagram and I was like, that is so cool. When it comes to this brand, I absolutely love their vintage inspired or looking print. That is Gucci. It's probably this way. Does that not just scream like safari vibes? I definitely wore this loads when I was on Ibi when I was in Ibiza. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this on my feed loads and loads and loads. So yeah, I got this a couple months ago, but it's still new in my wardrobe. Still something I'm so excited to wear now that I'm in Melbourne. Um, and now that it's gonna be summer again, I just love this print. This Gucci print is like my favorite. It just looks so vintage. Um, and I know I will never get sick of it. I have a couple of things in this print that I've had in my wardrobe for years and I absolutely love it. So I know I won't get sick of it and I cannot wait to wear this in the summer here. Keeping with accessories, I got one more thing that ties in nicely with what I just showed you. This is such a good gift for your girlfriend, mum, boyfriend, whoever you think might like it. It's just such a sweet gift and I don't think the price is that bad for what it is. Um, I would definitely recommend and it would be so special to them. Um, and that is this Gucci makeup pouch, I think that's what it's called. Um, I got this from Louisa Via Roma and I think it was about £200, which it is pricey but it's going to be in their um, collection forever. And it's kind of that waterproof canvas material so I think you'll be good to go you're not going to ruin it um and it has some leather detailing on it I've been seeing this on people's vanities and stuff like on insta stories and I'm like every time I see it I'm like it's such a nice like makeup case to kind of take with you when you're traveling or just to kind of sit on your vanity like it just looks so nice has the gold detailing on the top and again on the um zip and let me open it for you. There's actually a nice amount of space in here. And the best part is the inside is green. I just love that. It's like, it's not satin, but you know, it kind of gives that vibe. Um, there's loads of space in here and there's a little, like, extra little pouch to put, I don't know, mirror or smaller things. Um, so yeah, I was using this bag on my flight, like, traveling home. I kind of had all my, like, girly bits in there. Um... And yeah, I thought it was really useful and I loved like taking it out on the airplane because it's just, it's like a special little bag. And I think it's a really good size for something like traveling and things because to be honest, like my makeup would not fit in here, like my day-to-day -day makeup. I just have way too much stuff. But for traveling or putting it in my handbag for like top up and things, it is perfect. And again, I just love how it looks like sitting on my makeup table or something like that. So yeah. Definitely recommend this if you've been having your eye on it like I have. Again, such a cute Gucci print. Like, I'm not going to get sick of this. I'll probably still have this when I'm like 70 years old. Okay, so for the last slash very exciting bit, I cannot wait to unbox the bag with you guys. I've had my eye on this bag for a while, um, especially in this color. The brand doesn't do many things in this color. I really, really wish they did. And I've been struggling to find the perfect version of this color. It probably makes more sense when I show you. So one second. So this bag is from Prada. Um, I don't have the dust bag. I mean, I do have the dust bag. I don't have the box and stuff with me because I was not about to pack that. I got this in London. So I've had my eye on this bag. My mom has the larger version. And she like wears it loads and goes on and she was thinking about buying another color and I was like, wait, no, I want one. So before I keep rambling on, ta-da! I'm obsessed. So this is the Prada mini 
brushed Cleo bag with the flap. Honestly, the name's actually really long and I don't remember. I just call it the Prada um, Mini Cleo with a flap, which is probably really wrong. So, and it's in the color sand. I can't find it online, but I think I, I've seen it in store a couple of times. It's the most perfect beige color to me anyway. And um, so when I saw it, in this shape, I thought that's exactly what I want. I initially thought I wanted the larger one, but I was just surprised how much it could fit in this. And I thought like, in terms of dinners and stuff, I don't really have that many dinner bags or, or night appropriate bags. So this one kind of is perfect for both day and night. Um, it fits my phone on the inside um, and kind of everything I need, um, like hand sanitizer and et cetera, stuff like that. Um, and my favorite thing is I love bags that have a flap or a pouch at the back. I know they say not to put things like too much in there because you'll stretch the leather, but it's kind of for like, when you when you quickly need your hands and want to pop your phone somewhere, you don't have a pocket. This is like perfect for that. I cannot wait to wear it. It is just stunning and it fits. I love how thin it is. It just like fits perfectly under your arm. I'm obsessed. And yeah, so this is my, is this my newest bag? I kind of like don't even know it's just I know I haven't showed you but I don't know if it's my newest bag that's like such a first world problem anyway now before I ramble on like that that is all thank you so much for sitting through watching that videos with me hopefully I figured how to add my try-ons of these items into the video otherwise follow me on Instagram because I definitely try them on there and style these pieces and yes yeah, subscribe I cannot wait to watch what am I saying? I would love if you'd subscribe to my channel. I cannot wait to create more videos for you guys and kind of just build a really loving and positive community over here. And yeah, hopefully there is something for you in this haul. But otherwise, I will be back very soon and hopefully I will see you here again.